Hi everyone, I'm JJ, and today I went to my friend Mikey's house to ride bikes together in the woods. He lives around here somewhere. You should ring the doorbell and see if his parents are home and let him ride bikes for a while. I hope they'll let us ride. It'll be boring if I'm walking alone in the woods and can't take Mikey bike. I'll knock and wait for someone to open up. At least Mikey home. Hello? Is anybody home? Who's knocking at our door? Who are you? I'm JJ, Mikey friend I went over to his place to ride bikes with him. Remember Mikey talking about a friend? Yeah, come on in. Mikey home, he's waiting for you. It's nice to meet you, JJ. It's nice to meet Mikey parents, too. Yeah, it's our pleasure, too. It's not nice to stand in the aisle. Mikey's on the second floor. He'll be right down. Yes, he'll be down in a minute. I'd like to warn you not to ride till late. It's cold in the evening, so don't walk too long or you'll catch cold. Mikey, your friend's here to see you. I'm on my way. Come on down. Wow, JJ, you're here so early. I didn't think you'd come. I'm early, so we'll walk a little longer. It's cool. We get to ride all over the woods and find cool trees for stunts. I hope you don't mind moms and dads. No, we don't mind having fun. But remember to be careful when driving through the woods. Yeah, we'll be careful. And come back before sundown. Wow, your parents really care about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're always like, anything can kill me right now. Why don't we go play on your computer? Because the outdoors is nice? Yeah, I think it's great. We should tell our parents. Besides, it's boring at home. So listen, mom, dad. We'll ride outside if we need to. And we'll go to the woods. But don't worry. We'll be back in time. JJ guarantees he's responsible. Yeah, sure. I told you, you can go to the woods. Thank you. We'll go for a ride, and then we'll let you know how it goes. If anything, JJ can always call you or his parents and let them know if anything happens. Goodbye. Bro, I'm so glad we can ride bikes in the woods. I saw a bunch of shows about extreme riders going at high speeds. That's dangerous. Jumping on different bumps and going around trees. And it looked so cool that I want to do it again just like them. Whoever heard me. And I've got bikes like them, so I think we're a match for the sport. Let's go to your parents' town already. I can already feel the steep trail in the woods. Yeah, 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 it's very cool, but you know, it's very dangerous because if you fall off the bike at high speed, you can break your arm or your face. It hurts. Wow, those bikes look cool. Are they new? Of course, my grandfather gave them to me for my birthday. I don't know why, but he gave me two. He must have given you a second one in case you broke the first one. That's an interesting idea, but I've never broken a thing he gave me. There's a big track here. I I hope I don't fall off my bike on the dirt. I hope. Ha ha, very funny. Your face in the dirt? Yeah, that's funny. You know, sometimes you have strange ideas about what's funny and what's not. Yeah, 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 go ahead and pick out your bike. Your bikes are your first choice. God, they're the same. Okay, I'll take this one because it's closer. Let's go. I'm tired of waiting for a ride in the wind. Yes, finally. I saw some bicycle paths starting in the woods nearby. I think they practice that extreme sport there too. Or just someone who likes to ride in the woods. Yeah. I saw it the other day, too. If we go straight ahead, we'll be on this track in no time. I think we should check out extreme sports. All right, let's go. But you know, I don't like extreme sports where you can get hurt or beaten up. It's dangerous to your health. Everything is dangerous to your health in life, even the air. What? It's full of germs and gases and stuff. Well, maybe you're right about something. So if you fall off your bike and hurt yourself, it's no big deal. Yeah, we're finally on that trail. Going uphill is so hard. Look at me right now, JJ. Yay, fun road. And then there's a sharp downhill. Wait, let's stop here. This is the end of the road. It looks like everyone stops here. I'm so tired of driving. I'm still full of energy. You want to see a cool trick? I learned it watching TV. Yeah, come on. But wait, don't go over there. It's a cliff. It's dangerous. Ha ha ha, don't be scared. I wasn't gonna jump. Look how cool I can ride on the back wheel. Wow, Mikey, that looks really cool, but careful. I'm scared when you get that close to the cliff. I can jump ha 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 cool, right? I can do it all day long, even if I fall. What happens? It's not high. I'll only get a scratch at most. Whoa! Oh, no, 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 Mikey, you're okay. Mikey, are you there? Answer me. That's not funny. Are you okay? Mikey, God, I have to go down and see if he's okay. I hope he just bruised himself and fell asleep. What am I going to tell his parents when we get home and his face is all smashed up from that jump? I need to quickly see if he's okay. I hope he didn't take a hard fall like that. It's very high up here and it can be very painful. Mikey, are you okay? Can you get that? Your bike's a wreck. Mm. 
Oh no, he's not well. You shouldn't have played on such a high slide. I told you to be careful, and if you had listened to me, you wouldn't have fallen from such a high height. What should I do now? You should call an ambulance quickly. They'll help him. Remember, you can always call an ambulance and they will come immediately to save you if you hurt yourself. That's what I heard in the ads. So what's the number, 911? Hello, my friend fell off a cliff on a bike path in the woods. Please help him. He's very hurt. What, fell off a cliff in the woods? Yeah, 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 in the woods outside of town. We're good to go, we're on our way. Don't move, the ambulance will come and help you. They'll heal you and you'll be fine, but don't move and don't try to talk. Hey, I can see the ambulance coming. You're gonna be okay, I promise. It's gonna take a long woo to explain to your parents what happened, but you're gonna be okay, and that's the most important thing. They're already here, they'll help you now. Hey, hey kid, step aside, the doctor's here. Where your friend is? He's here. I'll help him. He fell off a cliff. So, well, I see he's in serious condition. We'll take him to the hospital, but I won't promise anything from the looks of it. He fell off this cliff and flew off on his bike. He could have broken a lot of bones. I think he's hurt badly. I'll take him to the ER. We'll give him some painkillers so he'll at least feel better. But I need a doctor to check him quickly. I think he has a lot of inside damage. I hope he'll be okay. I'm worried about him. He has parents who need to know about this. Come on, kid. Don't get in the way. Better let his parents know he's going to the fifth hospital. He'll be fine. I hope so, but I can't promise. Get him to a hospital with the best doctors. I don't even know what to say. Mikey was too careless about such dangers, and because of that, he fell off the cliff. I have to tell his parents what happened to him and that he went to hospital. Four to six days later. He was a great son. The first time I held him in my arms, I couldn't imagine being happier than being his father. But now I have to say goodbye to him. And I'm very sorry we got to spend so little time together. It's the saddest day of my life. I don't know what to say. I can't believe you're gone. I'm sorry, Mikey. I should have been more attentive to your hobbies and kept a better eye on you. Maybe you'd be alive now. I'm so sorry, Mikey. I didn't follow you, and that's why this happened. If I had known it would happen, I hope you're in a better place now, and you're well. His mom's gonna be heartbroken for a long time, and I don't think she'll recover from this shock. I tried to protect Mikey, but he wouldn't listen to me. You promised to keep him safe. Yeah, but he didn't listen to me. He said you're responsible. You little rascal. You're responsible for what happened to yeah, him. Yeah, this is your fault. No, it's not true. It's not. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be alive. You promised to keep him safe, and now he's in the ground here. I tried to warn him. You didn't try anything. But he wouldn't listen to me. You should have done better. And when he fell... Ah, oh, my head hurts so bad, what happened? Where am I? Mikey parents hit me and I passed out. They got mad at me for not keeping Mikey safe and hit me and then what? They dragged me down to some basement with a bunch of pipes and boilers. What am I gonna do? I gotta get out of here before they hurt me. How do I get out of here? There's gotta be a way out somewhere. I'll find it. No, 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 no. Now you're gonna live here for the rest of your miserable life. Yes, you're here for life because of your mistake. Wait, you can offer my parents a ransom. They're rich. No amount of money will bring my son back. No, they're not. You will pay for it with your life in our slavery. Now sit here and enjoy your stuffy basement. Yeah, take it for my son. But I didn't do anything wrong. He did it himself. I hate you. You're blaming my son for what happened to him. You're guilty of not watching him. You were responsible. Yeah, you're the responsible one. It's your fault for what happened. But wait a minute. No, we're leaving. Sit here and suffer. Bye-bye, and think about your sin. But how am I supposed to live here? While well, you're at it. Are you kidding? Don't leave me here. My parents will pay for me. They'll be looking for me. I gotta figure out a way to get out of here before they do anything bad to me. What am I gonna do? I gotta find some kind of loophole in this basement, like a vent or a pipe that I can use to get out of here or wait for my parents to find me. I don't even know what to do. I hope my parents are worried and looking for me by now. Three hours later. Wow, that's awesome. JJ, how did you like my stunts? What happened? I was riding my bike and now I'm here. Wait, what? I think I got it. I'm a ghost now. That's too bad. I should scare JJ and tell my parents. I think they're sad right now. Yeah, first tell my parents and then scare JJ. In that order, it'll be funny. I have to run home quickly. I don't feel tired now that I'm a ghost. It's funny. I hope my parents aren't too sad. It's gonna be bad if they're crying now. Wow, how easy I got home. It was fast. Now I'm a ghost and I don't feel like I'm tired or weigh a lot. And because of that, I run like lightning. Hey, why did I see something through the ground in the basement? And why is the basement closed? There's someone down there. I gotta check it out. 
It's weird. It's like I can sense someone alive in here. I can sense living things. Wow, JJ, what are you doing in our basement? How'd you get in here? Well, there's gotta be something I can use. Hello. There's gotta be some kind of fixture to break down the basement door or ventilation. JJ, do you hear there's me? There's gotta be air coming in. That was there's a joke? There's gotta be something to help me get away from parents, Mikey. Great, he can't hear me. I'm gonna go crazy if I don't find a way out. It's not true. I can't stay here all my life. Someone will come after me, I believe it. I have to do something. I'll go crazy. There's nothing here. How can I choose? It's impossible. There's nothing here. I can't find anything. Wait, what? That never happened. JJ, it's me, Mikey. I'll help you get out. Mikey? What? You are here? What does that mean? You're a ghost? I'll help you get out? Am I going crazy? Or has this never happened before? What's going on? Mikey, are you here? Can you help me escape by breaking down the wall in the air vent? Wow! Okay, I believe I'm coming. Wait for me, Mikey. I'm having trouble moving after I got hit on the head. There's some bars. Break them too, and I'll be able to get through. Thanks for helping me. There's another one here. This ventilator is covered in slush, dirt, and some other other filth. All the walls are covered with it. We have to get out of here quickly. I think the exit is near. I can hear rain outside. Oh, this looks like a way out. There's only one last bar left, Mikey. Can you break it? And I'll be free. I hope your parents haven't found out I escaped yet. Mikey, please, break it fast. My heart is beating incredibly fast. Oh, I'm finally free. I'm free. Mikey's parents aren't around? I don't think so. I have to get out of here before they figure it out. If they catch me again, it'll be the end. They're still at home. I hope they don't know I ran away from them for a long time. Mikey, if you're here, can you give me a sign? How can I help you? I'm JJ here. I became a ghost and came to scare you, but you didn't hear me, and I helped you escape from my parents. Wow, I'm so sorry you became a ghost. Now don't worry about it. But why did you try to scare me? I'm a ghost. Isn't that what ghosts do? I thought it was funny, so I thought I'd scare you, but I guess you didn't see me before I got struck by lightning. I'm so sorry, Mikey, after all this. Your parents tried to lock me in the basement. Don't worry, it's okay. My parents freak. Okay, all right. And I'm a ghost now, so I don't need parents. I don't think I need much of anything anymore. I think I should run home before your parents find me. We can meet up later when it's over. I don't know if we'll see each other again. JJ, thank you for everything, and good luck. I'll slowly go away to scare people. Well, now that he's a ghost, I think he'll be fine, and he's not mad at me because he fell off a cliff, and I couldn't do anything to save him, although I tried. The main thing is, that I escaped and now I can get away from here. Have you ever fallen off your bike? Write about it in the comments. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. On this sunny, beautiful day, Mikey and I are playing on the playground. Hey, hey, we have a new playground at the orphanage. Yeah. Our center has repaired everything. And they also bought a lot of toys. It is so much more fun to be in our orphanage now. They also grew a new forest where we sometimes go for walks with our group. Too bad we're not allowed to go there alone. Guys, come here. Who's that? A teacher at our orphanage is calling us. It's time to go eat. You're already playing and you're late for lunch. She's calling us into the building to eat, Mikey. I heard that, JJ. You guys have been playing outside for a long time. We have to go eat. Don't worry, you can play again later. Then let's go eat quickly. Yeah and I'm already hungry, and don't mind getting some extra energy. I hope there will be a delicious lunch today and not like yesterday's broccoli soup. Broccoli soup is very healthy, JJ. Come on in, the other kids are long past lunchtime. As long as those kids don't eat our lunch. What are you talking about, JJ? There's one plate for every two people. No one's gonna eat your lunch. That's what I believed. Are you guys joking around again? Hee hee hee. Let's go eat before the food gets cold. We'll eat and go about our business. Sure, we're right in the business, Mikey. There's your table over there. You can sit down. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much. It smells really good. Let's go eat. I wonder if everyone here has the same food? Or do they give someone else different food? I don't know, JJ. Look at that. They're all different. But our food isn't lamb poop. Let's eat already. Do you like being here, JJ? Yes, of course I do. It's beautiful. And the food is delicious. I would eat here more often. I meant at the orphanage. Do you like it? Ah, yeah. I like it here. The people here are nice. They treat us well, too. The food is good, too. On the whole, I agree with you, JJ. Guys, let's finish eating. We're scheduled for an afternoon nap. Oh, no. What daytime nap? We wanted to go for another walk. Yeah, and I haven't finished eating yet. But on the other hand, I don't mind lying down and resting for a while. I agree with you, Mikey. Let's go get some rest. Can we go to our playground again with JJ after the day's rest? Yes, after your vacation, you can go play. Cool, Mikey. Let's stay in bed for an hour and go play. Thank you, orphanage teacher. You're welcome. Go to your room. Bye. How lucky we are that she is very kind. 
Let's go get some rest, JJ. Yeah, that's right. I have heard that many teachers are cruel and unfair to their students. That's awful. It shouldn't be like this. Write in the comments if your teachers are good and if you like them. This is our room, JJ. We can come in and relax. How convenient that we have a room for two with no extra people. It's true. What a beautiful and cozy room, too. I love it here. I love it here, too. And the beds are comfortable. Let's get some rest, JJ. Nice. I just have a favor to ask of you. Can you go to the store with me? I'm a little undernourished. We'll go back and forth quickly and rest. All right, Mikey, let's go. Just as long as nobody sees us. Thank you, JJ. Let's go see if anyone's in the hallway. You just have to be quiet as a mouse or they'll scold you. I'm out, JJ. I don't think anyone's around, so let's take it slow. That's great. Everything's going according to plan. Let's hurry up and go before anyone sees us. I love what we're doing. I got a little adrenaline rushing through my body. Take your time, Mikey. There might be people here who can see us. Don't be so hard on yourself. I've been through everything. No one's here. We can go. Cool, Mikey. I have a lot of fun doing that. Yay! It adds a new emotion to ordinary life. Here we are. This is the closest store. And it's also a good store. There is a very large selection. He also works all night. We can come here at 1 in the morning. What do you want to get for yourself at the store? Something tasty. We should go look. That's right. Hello. We're here to buy groceries. Hello, guys. Sure, come on in and buy whatever you want. Thank you. We'll quickly buy everything and go. Let's go this way, JJ. Let's see what we can buy. There's a huge selection of what you can buy, Mikey. And t-shirts and trinkets. You can even buy fruit. Yes, it's a very nice store, JJ. I like it. We should buy one already and go to our orphanage. Cashier, now give me all your money. Look at Mikey. It's a robber with a gun. Oh, my God, JJ. What are we going to do? I'm scared. Let's run away. No, Mikey. We have to stop him. Hey, you robber, stop doing that. Have you lost your fear? Get out of here, boy, or I'll shoot you. No, we're not leaving here. You don't have to do this. Put your gun away and stop scaring ordinary civilians. Think you're the bravest? Then take a bullet in the head. <laughs> Mikey, it's okay. I'm alive. Is that me lying down? Am I dead? Mikey, I'm here. Look over here. Can you see me? Have I become a ghost? Did I really get killed? I should have listened to Mikey. JJ, why did you even go to him? I told you to run away. I wanted to save you. I thought he wouldn't shoot me. Hear me, Mikey. We should run to the orphanage and tell them what happened. How am I supposed to live without you, JJ? I'm right here, Mikey. Two hours later. I don't know what's going on, but I think I've become a ghost. Hey, Mikey, stop. Where are you going so fast? Stop crying already. I'm not completely dead yet. Please calm down. You're such a crybaby. Oh, my God. He can't even hear me. Mikey, you have to tell the teacher. She should call the police over there. Stop whining and start taking action. So, you want to adopt Mikey? That's a very good option. Who? There he is. A very obedient and handsome boy. He's in tears, but that doesn't matter. What kind of people are these? They're here to adopt Mikey? What about me? He can't be taken alone. We're taking him. Yes, a good worker. I don't agree. I'm not going anywhere. What? How dare you talk to dad like that? Do you want to adopt him yet? Take him now. Okay, pack it up. We're going to be great parents. Let me go. Let Mikey go now. He's my brother. I'm not going to let you just take him away. It's not a thing. Come again. We have a lot of unwanted children. You are always welcome. One is enough for us for now. What? Why so fast? You guys are weird. I'm not leaving you, Mikey. Three hours later. Stop. Don't go away! You're not taking my Mikey away from me! He's my brother! Give him back to me! It's not your toy! We're finally here, darling. This little guy screamed so much on the way. You're bad! I don't want to be your son! Shut up, ow, you ow, little ow, baby! Ow, ow, ow. Let's go inside. We need to find a normal place for him. Let him go right now, you two stupid adults. They're treating my brother too badly. How can I help him? I'm just a ghost. Shake him up. Okay! Ow, 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 ow. That's it. He needs to be treated better. He'll work for us without rest. What kind of work? He's just a kid. Friends, do you also think it's a bad idea to work as a child? Write about it in the comments. It's a time for fun and relaxation. It's against the law to work at that age. We're too too young for that. Where are you taking him? I think you'll be comfortable in this basement. That's where we're gonna keep that stupid kid. It's not a dog. People don't live in a cage. Now you're gonna live here. You have a lot of work tomorrow. What kind of work? You adopted me. I don't want to live here. Now you sit there, kid. I'm not some animal. 
animal. I'm a human being. Let me out, please. You'll get out of here just to get a job. No one will come and help you. I'll help. You can't do this to me. You'll be deprived of your parental rights. We don't care. No one will find you. You are the worst parents ever. Jesus, Mikey. Hold on. I'll never leave you here alone. I'm going to find a way to get you out of here. Please don't cry. How could our teacher give you away so easily to these freaks? We just have to not give up. Yeah, sleep is what we need right now. The grates here are too strong. I don't know how Mikey can break them with his little hands. There's nothing I can do to help him. The next day. Oh my God, can ghosts sleep too? I didn't know that. Hey, wake up there. The prisoner's starved. Give me some soup, lots of soup. Yeah, Mikey's pretty pissed off today. I'm hungry, I'm very hungry. I'm gonna chew on these bars. Who was yelling at me this morning? I'm gonna punch you in the head. I forbid you to make that kind of noise. I can't live without food for long. Oh, you're hungry, huh? We have jobs for you around the house. You get it done, you can eat. Come on, get out of here and go to the first floor. How vile you guys are. Come on, come on, follow me, baby. Okay, I'm on my way. I wonder what kind of job awaits him. Oh my god, there's so much garbage. They're really dirty pigs. Here's a rake for you. Go and clean it. Mikey's gonna take forever to clean this place alone. There's no way I'd clean this place up. Get started now. Oh my god, why did they bring the trash cans in off the street? Don't even think about running away from here, kid. We have huge locks on the main door. You're gonna stay here forever. It's a good idea to adopt you, isn't it? Also, all the windows have bars. Escape is impossible. It's not a house. It's a big prison. Come on, do some janitorial work. And we'll go have fun. While they're laying there, Mikey's gonna be working here alone. How am I supposed to get out of here? There's no way out. If JJ were around right now, maybe we could get out of this place. Mikey, I'm here. Why can't you hear me? JJ, are you here or am I imagining things? I'm here. I'm in ghost form. You can hear me, but you can't see me. Oh, that's awesome. I knew you wouldn't leave me, my brother. Mikey, you need to get out of here right now. We just have to find a way to do it. I have no idea where the weak spot is in this house. We need to look. This house can't be perfect in terms of defense. But Mikey, I don't see any way to escape at all. JJ, you're a ghost. You can walk through walls. Fly through that wall behind the painting. Uh, really? I've never done that. I don't think I can do it. So try it right now. We don't have any other options. Okay, okay. I've never done this before. It's even easier than I thought. So what do we have here? Some old garage and an exit to the street. But how do I get Mikey out here? Friends, would you like to be able to fly through walls? Write about it in the comments. And I still don't know how to get Mikey out of here. Mikey, there's an exit to the street behind that wall. I can't break down walls or carry you through them. Uh, so there's an exit behind this wall? All we have to do is break it down. Yeah, but Mikey, how are you gonna break down that solid wall? I don't know. Maybe I should try to break it with my rake. A rake? But you need them for leaves and trash. JJ, that's a very sturdy rake. Plus, the wall here is pretty rotten. Perfect place for a hole. Seriously? You just break down walls like that? You're a genius. Yeah, I'm surprised at how easy it was. And they spent a lot of money to buy locks and install bars on the windows. Yeah, they obviously didn't expect this from us. Now where do we go? We're going back to the orphanage. That's the only place where we can have a normal life. Uh-oh, I think I'm disappearing. What's going on? Oh my god, where am I? You're in the hospital, kid. We were able to save your life. Before that, you were in a coma. Now you are back in the world of the alive. Whoa, cool. And I thought I was completely dead. But I'm still gonna make it through this life. Hey, we managed to get you out of that world. Don't risk your life like that again. Okay, I'll try my best. Thank you, doctor. That's my job. Glad you're alive again. I'm actually surprised a man survived a bullet to the forehead. You're a very lucky man. Nobody would have survived but you. Now go home. I have a lot of things to do. Thank you again, doctor. You're the best. Bye-bye. JJ. Mikey? You're alive! I'm so glad! My little brother is bulletproof! But what are you doing here, Mikey? I didn't tell you I was in the hospital. I didn't realize I was here myself. JJ, I'm your brother. I would never leave you. Your voice is gone. And you thought I'd wake up in a hospital. That's smart. Yeah, where else would you be? I don't think you'd still be lying in that store. You know anything can happen. It's good to be back together. Yes, I agree. Seven months later. By the way, I missed Mikey too. I'll have to go visit him. After Christmas, he stopped hanging out with me. It makes me sad. Hey, Mikey, open the door. JJ's here. Stop sleeping. Let me into your house. Just open the door already. Who's that loud one at the door? Wow, you're so beautiful. Oh, I mean, where's Mikey? Who are you anyway? I'm JJ, his friend. Mikey, come here, honey. Your friend JJ is here to see you. 
A honey? Mikey got a girlfriend? I'm already here. Hey, JJ. Who's that strange guy? This is my friend. I've known him all my life. He's a really cool dude. Okay, then come on inside. I'd love to get to know your friends better. Mikey, when did you get such a hot girl? What do you mean, hot? She looks too enchanting. Look, you shouldn't say those words. That's my girlfriend after all. But you're right. She's pretty cool. You're lucky to have such a good girlfriend. I'm so lucky. Let's go back to my house. Stop standing on the doorstep. I'm freezing. Look, how could she ever fall in love with someone as boring and ugly as you? The only one boring and ugly here is you, JJ. Oh, you're wrong. I'm very popular with the girls. Hello again. Don't worry. The soup will be ready soon. All you have to do is wait a little longer and you'll be good to eat. Oh, that's awesome. It's been a long time since I've had a home-cooked meal. Oh, you're gonna love this, JJ. My girlfriend cooks perfectly. You can eat her food forever. It's so good. I order my own food a lot. And the last time I had a home-cooked meal was at my mom's house. Guys, we got a problem. I'm out of pasta. It's a very important ingredient for soup. Wow, soup without pasta is not cool at all. You think this is a serious problem? We'll go to the store and get you some pasta. Oh, Mikey, you always save me in dire situations. Anything for you, sweetheart. And JJ and I are gonna take a walk to the store. Bye-bye. I miss you already, Mikey. Bye-bye. She's such a good girl. Let's go already, good girl. I'm so lazy to go get some pasta. You could go get it yourself. Your queen has given you orders. Don't be lazy and do your duty. Oh, what a queen. I'm the king of the family. She listens to me and does my bidding. Haha, <laughs> you're just a petty servant. Uh-oh. There are two stores here. There's an expensive store on the left and a cheap store on the right. Of course we'll go to the cheap store. We'll save money on pasta and use the rest to buy chips. And spending a lot of money on some expensive pasta is stupid. I agree with you. Let's go to the cheap store. We're not rich enough to spend thousands of dollars on pasta. And in an expensive store, they do cost thousands of dollars. Let's go to the store. I know a shortcut. Oops, after saying that, we usually get in trouble. Don't be afraid. Two hours later. Shortcut? Yeah, I know this road. Mikey, I think we got lost a long time ago. Let's go back. We're lost deep in the woods, and we're going to be eaten by bears. Stop making a big deal out of it. We're not lost. We're just a little off my path. We've been rubbing it in. We should call the rescue squad to come look for us. And there's that track. We've come to where I wanted to go. What the hell are you talking about? We're still in the woods. We're not getting out of here. Uh-oh. Mikey, it's too high. We shouldn't have come here. There's a beam. We can go forward right over it. Are you crazy? You'll fall and crash. We need to get down this mountain and walk to the store in peace. You're always afraid of everything. This is where you can use a stick to get to the other side of the mountain. What happens? if you fall off that stick. It hurts to fall off this stick. Stop talking. Get in first. I'll go after you. No way. I'm not climbing that thing for the life of me. Then stand here and see how cool and brave I am. I'll cross this girder with no trouble at all. You don't have to do that. Mikey, I'm scared for you. Please don't do this. It's too late. I'm already here. Look, it's actually easy to get across. Then come here. You don't have to stand there. And don't make any sudden movements. Huh, I can still jump around. I'm a real acrobat. My Mikey, stop! Ah! Oh my god, Mikey, are you alive? You're not an acrobat. You're an idiot. We should go down there and see if he survived at all. What am I gonna tell his girlfriend? Why did he have to climb that stick in any way? Yeah, he's still lying there. It seems like he'll never get up again. He fell from too great a height. Hey, Mikey, get up. Pasta can't buy itself. Get up already. This isn't funny anymore. Oh no, he's not waking up. Help me, somebody. The man is sick. Oh man. And there's nobody around. Okay, phone booth. Maybe I can call an ambulance and help Mikey. This is my last chance for salvation. I hope they come quickly. Nine, one, one. Is that an ambulance? Yes, what happened? My friend fell off the mountain right into the road. Please help him. Okay, we're on our way. Don't worry, we'll be there soon. That's great. I'm waiting for you. And please make it quick. Well, guys, would you be willing to walk across that stick? Write about it in the comments. Five minutes later. Yeah, Mikey's already stopped breathing. That's too bad. What a stupid idea it was to walk that stick. Uh-oh, here comes the ambulance. Finally, they're going to give Mikey a hundred shots and he's going to wake up. Stop, don't run over my friend. Quick, give him first aid. He's very sick. Why are you yelling at me? Hurry and get him to the hospital. Yeah, your buddy's not cool at all. Where did it even fall from? Right over there. He wanted to walk on that stick, but he slipped off it and flew down. Yeah, the height is pretty big. Well, we'll have to take your friend to the hospital. Let me tell you, the chances of survival are extremely slim. People don't 
live long after a fall like that. But you're a good doctor. You can cure all people just by touching them. I'm not a god. I'm just a doctor. Bye-bye. See you at the hospital, buddy. Bye-bye. I still hope you can get him back on his feet. It wouldn't be cool to lose Mikey at all. Get well soon, my friend. Friends, like the video, and Mikey will live. The more likes, the more chances Mikey will be alive. Three hours later. And here I am in the hospital. I'm here to check on Mikey and see how he's doing. He's lying in this room. The doctors say they're fighting for his life. Where's Mikey? I'm lost in this hospital. Whoa, you're Mikey's girlfriend. Come here. What happened to him? The doctors told me he fell from a height. Yeah, that's right. He was in such a hurry to buy cheap pasta that he fell off a stick between two mountains. He fell so hard he stopped breathing. Oh my God, this is so awful. I'm so worried about him. Let me see Mikey. I'm his girlfriend. I'll help him. They won't let you in there. Here I am. Did you miss me? Ha ha ha. Tell me what happened to Mikey. No more silence. We're all very worried about Mikey. Well, how can I tell you this? Anyway, Mikey is dead. We tried to save him, but he fell from too great a height. What? This can't be happening. It wasn't high at all. It could. All the bones are broken. He's dead. Oh my god. Poor, poor Mikey. How are we gonna live without you? I don't even care. I'm having lunch. Get out of my way. It's your fault. If it wasn't for your pasta, he would have stayed home. Ouch, looks like I've really upset you. Well, it's not your fault. Mikey was stupid enough to do it. Stop crying. Wait a minute, and where did she run off to? Ah, uh, there you are. I didn't tell you. I'm sorry about Mikey too, but it's not cool to grieve for him forever. So what if he's dead? At least you're boyfriendless now, even though you're so beautiful. Why don't we go to my house together? Um, and what are we going to do there? <laughs> and we'll definitely find something to do with you, pretty lady. Oh, I'm the pretty one? Hee hee, I'm in. Let's go to your place and have fun. Oh yeah, I like that. What are we going to do at your house? Haha, <laughs> we can watch the coolest cartoons I have together. Sounds awesome. Moments later. There's my house. Way cooler than Mikey's square house, huh? You know Mikey didn't talk about you much at all. What could he have told you about me? I'm just an ordinary, uninteresting girl. Oh, you're clearly wrong now. You are a very attractive, beautiful, and kind girl. Hee <laughs> hee. Thanks, JJ, for those kind words. Those are the same words Mikey said to me before he fell off that mountain onto the road. I realize the loss of Mikey is a heavy burden for all of us. But I think he would want us to be less sad and move on with our fun lives. You're you're right. We have to move on and enjoy life. You betcha. And first, let's start by watching the cartoons I wanted to show you. Let's go. You know you're so cute. I'd lie in bed with you and watch cartoons with you for the rest of my life. Hee <laughs> hee. That's so sweet to hear. Oh, what's that cartoon you have on TV? It's a digital circus. It's my favorite cartoon. I love the main character, Pomni, so much. Wow, that's my favorite cartoon, too. JJ, you and I look so much alike. That's for sure. All right, get over here. I've been waiting for this moment to finally kiss you. Oh, yeah, I like you. Here I am. It wasn't that high at all. Where am I, by the way? Some kind of hospital. Lots of machines. It's weird. Did I fall off that stick and end up in the hospital? I shouldn't have been in such a hurry to get that stupid pasta. Oh my god, that's my body. Am I dead? I don't want to die, but I'm kind of not dead. I don't like this at all. It's not cool to look at your dead body. Oh my god, I've become a ghost. Now I can fly through walls, scare people walking by. I just don't know how long I can stay like this. Woohoo, I'm a ghost. Be afraid of me. Oh, what a shame I can't scare anyone at night. What am I supposed to do then? I'm already dead. Nobody needs me. No one's waiting for me at home. No one to pet me or give me candy. Oh, I have a girlfriend and a JJ. I'm gonna go scare them. Good idea, by the way. What are you guys doing here? Oh my god, what is it? Why are you lying on top of each other? Why are you taking your clothes off? Oh yeah, JJ, you're the best. A cheating girlfriend and a terrible friend. I will avenge you for this. Oh, what's going on? No! Ah! Don't A! I, I, I! Several long days later. Hey, we're in school today. Hmm. This is a cool moment in my life. School. JJ, we come here every day. Just calm down. Mikey, huh? I'm just really excited. Well, I'm excited too, but I'm not ready to talk about I'm in school, yay, every day. You don't like it? Oh, that really pisses me off, JJ. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, apology accepted. Just don't do it again, okay? Uh, okay. Well, it's a deal. Hmm. We'd better get back to class or the teacher will be back soon. That's right. She's kind, but she doesn't like it when someone's late. Yes, I still remember the story about Bob. That's right. She would leave him after school to wait until she finished her work 
work to teach him a lesson. Yeah, I couldn't stand sitting in school that long. Viewers, do you think school is cool or not cool? Of course not. Write your opinion in the comments. I like learning, but not school. Oh, the teacher's here. Be quiet. Okay, kids, I'm going to ask for quiet. Hmm. It's good to see you all today. Good, good morning, morning, teacher. Oh, good morning. I have some wonderful news for you. Oh, hmm. The school is holding a contest among the students for the best photo. Whoa. Whoever takes the best photo gets $1,000. Uh, what? Oh, my God. $1,000. Yes, children, be quiet. Oh. The school wants you to take a photo of something cool or unusual. Good luck, everyone. Mikey, I want in. Yes, that sounds very interesting. You can take pictures outside of school. Wow. There are no restrictions. Mikey. JJ, we have to get involved. Yeah. We just take a photo of something interesting and that's it. The prize is in our pocket. Oh, you heard it. It was the bell from class. Guys, since it's a shortened day, I'm letting you all go home. JJ, we're free. I'll let's go tomorrow. outside. Yeah, let's go. We'll take the best photos and make tons of money. Yeah. Have you thought about what you want to photograph, by the way? Oh, well, I'm thinking of photographing the beauty of nature. The beauty of nature? Uh, huh, you're so naive, JJ. Wait, why? Because there will be lots of nature pictures. I'm sure of it. No, I'm going to have special photos. JJ, you've got to bring people out in colorful emotions. Oh, uh, what? And you can get a little admiration for nature in the park. Mikey, stop saying that. I like nature. And you don't care at all about what I love. Mikey! We do what you want all the time. I'm sick of it. But Mikey... I'll take the photo I want. Uh, and I'm going to do it all by myself. Mikey, wait! Don't follow me. Take your stupid nature photos. Stupid nature photos? Mikey, I've always been willing to forgive you, but this time you hurt my feelings too much. I'll take such a good photo that you'll have to apologize to me and nature. JJ doesn't understand anything about art at all. And photography is art. And art is all about bringing out vivid emotion. I must teach him a lesson. <gasps> That's what I need. Wow, I didn't realize there was such a work of art not that far from the school. Now that's the kind of picture that would be 100% worthy of a contest at school. I'll take some photos and pick the best one. That's what really brings out the vivid emotions. Garbage. Everyone will be shocked, but it's just what I need. I'm sure JJ definitely wouldn't take a better photo than mine. What could be more unusual in the city than this? Exactly, nothing. It's been hours since I've been looking for something pretty to photograph. So finally, I found the best place with the best views of the beautiful nature. And just now the sun is going over the horizon. It's the best moment for a photo. Look at this beauty. Nature is beautiful. I'm sure Mikey won't find anything more beautiful than this. Oh, I'm getting a bit chatty. It's getting late. I'll take some pictures and go home. Oh, wow, the sun gets so big when sunset happens. I'm obligated to photograph this exact moment. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. No! Ah! Mommy, Daddy, Mikey, help! I don't want to die. Ouch. Wait a second. Oh, it's weird, but I don't have any pain. Hmm. Oh, my God. Is that me? I don't believe it. This can't be happening. I just wanted to take a nice photo. I didn't want it to end this way. I wasn't standing right on the edge. Why did I fall? Uh, wait, was I too close to the edge? Oh, I guess I didn't see it, Nightmare. It was very scary. Will my body just stay here? Hmm, no, I have to go home. Try to talk to my family. Two hours later. I've gone very far indeed. I can't imagine explaining to them where my body is. Okay, I'll think about it later. I'm almost home. Ah, home sweet home. It's peaceful and calm here as always. That actually makes me happy. Hmm. I wonder if my family misses me now. They must just be sitting peacefully drinking tea. Uh, how do I get in? Oh, I'm a ghost. They might not see Mikey, me. what happened? Well, we had a big fight with JJ and split up to take pictures. I don't know where he is. Mikey. He didn't come back to school. What have we done, God? Where could he have gone? He said he was going nature photography. Yes, that's right. But there are so many places with nature. Maybe he's still in the I'm city. here. We'll need to look at every bush. Dad, at oh, least huh? see me. Honey, this is going to be really hard. Mommy, I know where my body is. We don't have any leads. It's so sad. I wish you could hear me. Hmm. Then I could help you and myself. Oh, then we'll put up flyers all over town. Oh! Yeah, we should split up. I looked pretty good. Yeah, how do we do it? Who goes where? Hmm. We have to see the whole city. Yes, you're right. Hmm. But we should also check out the police station. Yes, that would be the right thing to do. They may have found our lost JJ. Mommy, they don't know anything. Honey, we'll find him. I'm the only one who knows. Mommy! All right. Let's go outside. We'll divide up who's going where. Yes, let's not waste any more time talking. Mommy, what if I get lost too if I go alone? Don't worry, I'll only let you go to a safe neighborhood. Oh, hmm. Everything will be fine. All right, Mom. There's no point in you going around town. I'm here and my body's not here. Well, let's get some directions. Okay, okay. I'm going to that part of town. Hmm. And you, Mikey, go to that part of town. Okay. And your father will go to the police station. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Oh, I hope JJ is okay. We're very hopeful too. Good luck with our search, Mikey. Yes, we'll definitely. 
finally find him. Oh! Oh, JJ, where'd you go? Hmm. I feel really guilty about what I said to you the other day. Are you really sorry? I hope you didn't go too far. Then you had to admit that nature is cool, too. I promise that when I see you again, I'll make it up to you. Really? I've got flyers to put up. Oh, my sweet boy. I hope you're around somewhere. How could I have missed this moment? Oh, on the other hand, I had no way of knowing about it. Mikey came in crying last night. It was awful. I don't think these flyers will help us, but it's all we can do right now. Maybe someone saw JJ and will tell us about it. JJ, the whole family is very worried about you. Please come home to us. Oh, what a bore. No interesting investigations or events. Who's there? It's Speaker Man. Oh, Mr. Speaker Man, please come in. Don't stand outside the door. I'm glad you remembered old acquaintances, officer. Ha! Insulting, old friend. I'm here on business. My son is missing. Wait, what? Yesterday he went somewhere after school and didn't come back. We're worried sick. What a misfortune. Can your boys find him? Oh, I'll do my best, old boy. I'll get everyone I can on the case. If there's any news, I'll let you know. Really? After all, I vividly remember that moment when you helped me with my problems. Cool. Two hours later. Mikey's been hanging flyers here for four hours. Stop torturing yourself, Mikey. It's not enough. You don't think that's enough? My face is on every house in this neighborhood. I don't have many flyers left. Well, good, because no one knows where the body is but me. It's no time to be sad. I owe it to myself to do the best of my ability. Oh, and then you'll have to tear off all these flyers. I feel like I could have put up more flyers, but I don't have many left. Well, no more. What are you doing, Mikey? I get that I'm handsome, but why are there a lot of flyers with me on them every 100 inches? Well... Well, you could just guess that I've gone into the woods and I've been out of town a long time instead of hanging up these flyers. JJ, where are you? No shame, no conscience. If you hang flyers, at least hang them straight. That's it. I'm out of flyers. So what are you going to do now? Oh, hmm. Huh. I gotta tell my mom that I did everything here. Oh my god, what's in it for you? What's the result? JJ, find yourself. I know where I am, but you don't want to think. I'll have to tell my mom I didn't find it here. I didn't know you were like this, Mikey. Just please hear me. Oh, hmm, wait a second. Mikey, did you really hear me? Don't be silent. Say something back to me. Hmm. Say me something. JJ, you're a little crooked. Oh, uh, what? I think I need to tweak you a bit. Oh my god. Oh no, that's not true. You're seriously going to level a poster with that kind of reaction. Yes, it looks a lot better now. You're a crazy perfectionist, Mikey. It's time to go home. My work is completely done here. And talking to me wasn't part of your plan, huh? Well, what am I supposed to do? So what are you doing here? You want to tweak something again? Hmm. Oh, JJ, I missed you so much. Uh, Please come home soon. Hmm. After all, everyone is very worried about you. Yes, I would love to go back. But as you cannot see, I can't do that. Hmm. I have to figure out how to help them find me. Otherwise, their investigation will go nowhere. They'll still think I'm lost somewhere in the city. My parents and I agreed to meet here. Where are they? Hmm. Mikey, we're here. Yay! Were you able to find out anything? No, Mom. It's a shame. Have you two been able to figure anything out? No, and we've got nothing. Oh, hmm. The police station can't help us much either. Well... I'm the one who needs to come up with something now, not the other way around. What are we gonna Think, do? JJ, use your brain. Oh, that's right. I had dirt in the inventory. With this, I can show them the way to my body. Mikey, we're out of ideas. But what about JJ? All we have to do is wait for a miracle. <gasps> like this miracle. No, Mikey. You don't understand me. Look behind your backs. All right, let's help Mikey. Here, do you see this? Wow, that's incredible. What's going on? I think someone is trying to help us. Okay, let's try to follow this trail of dirt. Yes, come on. I'll get you to the right place. It's so unusual. Mikey, take your time. I'm a little freaked out. We're right there with you. You just take your time. Okay, I wonder what is this creature that's dumping dirt in here? Oh, Mikey, you'll be surprised when you find Find out that creature was your brother. Look, there's more dirt. There's really a lot of that dirt. Come on, my family, follow me quickly. So, a little more. We've come far into the woods. Here I am, look. <gasps> my boy. JJ. You see, you were looking in the wrong place. JJ. Hmm. Uh, JJ, what about JJ? Why isn't he waking up? Mikey, we're too late. No, I don't believe that. Mikey, your mom's right. We can't do anything. He's been here too long. Come on, get up. You can see that everyone misses you and is worried about you. JJ. Please help me get back into my body. My little boy. Please, I want to go back to them. My son. God Help me, I'll do anything for you. Uh, where am I? Am I completely dead? I'm too young to die now. Ahem, ahem. Uh, oh my god. First rule, uh, don't say the god's name here. Okay. You've mentioned me a lot, for that I commend you. Sounds contradictory. You said you would do anything to return to the world of the living, is that true? Yes, our holy light. A holy light? All right, don't distract me. Hmm. Well, you solve my riddle, and I'll return you to your family. I agree. Hmm. <laughs> What belongs to you, but others use it more often than you. Uh, You've only got three tries, think JJ. Oh, I remember my mom saying something similar to that to me once. Could that be my pen? No, JJ, that's the wrong answer. But why? I'll give you a hint. 
It's only spiritually connected to you. A soul? Oh, what am I going to do with this child? <clears throat> the answer was name. Remember that? Oh my god. Will I be a ghost forever? No, JJ, we see you. Really? JJ, it's a miracle you came back to life. I'm so happy, darling. We're very excited. JJ, we've been looking for you. Yeah, Mikey, I know. How did you even get here? I wanted to take a good picture from the top of that cliff and I flew off it. But you survived. It's unbelievable. Please don't scare us like that again. We're worried. Okay, Mom and Dad. Also, I'm sorry. One day later. I don't even know what would be so interesting to do today. Maybe watch cartoons. Uh-oh. Someone's calling my house? I should open the door. JJ, did you fall asleep in there? Mikey, hey, you're here early today. Hey, JJ, I've got this cool bike in the house. Do you want to go for a ride with me? Great idea, Mikey. I'm in. The last time I rode this bike was when I was a kid. Oh, you can hardly sit on that bike at all. You're so clumsy and inept. So I'm gonna ride it, and you're gonna watch it. Is it hard to ride a bike at all? Um, I don't know, but it's worth it try. I'm not giving it to you anyway. Uh, okay. I'll watch you fall face first into the ground. I'm not going to fall. Some six-year-old kids can ride it easily, but I'm an adult and I can do it too. Actually, I'm an adult too and quite agile enough to handle a regular bike. I don't care how mature you are. The bike belongs to me and I'm going to ride it. You can just watch and be jealous. That's kind of unfair. The bike is red and I'm red, so I have to ride first. It's too late. I already sat on it. Look, this isn't as hard as I thought it would be. Wow, let me try it too. You wait, kid. Let the uncles play. Look what tricks I can do. Watch it, Mikey. You're gonna fall down again and cry all day. Ha ha ha. It's so cool to ride on one wheel. Everyone can immediately see that I am a professional cyclist. I can still jump on this wheel. Watch out. It's getting dangerous, Mikey. I don't want to take you apart. Out of my ouch. Ha 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 ha. You fell. Less bragging, Mikey. You're so clumsy. Get up already. Stop lying down. That was very painful, JJ. I I landed squarely with my knee on the floor. I also fell right in front of a beautiful girl. Oh, well, yeah, I guess she's a pretty girl. Oh, looks like I'm in love, JJ. She's a very pretty girl. Then go meet her right now. Otherwise, she'll run away and you'll never see her again. Come with me, because I'm too shy to do it alone. Um, okay. Hello, beautiful. What's your name? My name is Elena. What's yours? And mine's Mikey. I liked you so much, you know? Oh, my God, he's doing it so ridiculously. I'd like that, to go out with you sometime. That's a good idea, by the way. By by the way, do you have any girlfriends for me too? Because it's not cool to go out with you guys alone. Uh, I have a girlfriend at my house. I think I can get her to meet you. That's great. Then we can all go out, all four of us. It'll be great. Then meet me tomorrow near here. Nice to meet you guys. I really liked you too. Bye bye. I'm waiting for your girlfriend. Ha ha ha. She's so funny, I forgot to ask her name. Let's go for a bike ride. There's still plenty of time before tonight anyway. But I want to go out with that hottie already. I'm not interested in the bike. You'll still make it. Let's go for a walk already. Okay, let's go. Only this time I want to ride a bike. I think you've had enough for today. Uh, okay, suit yourself. I don't want to ride it anymore. Okay. Three hours later. And here is the exact house where that beautiful girl invited us. We should probably get her name. That's right. We totally forgot about that. This house looks too familiar, Mikey. I don't know what you mean. I got flowers for that chick. Whoa! Ha ha! Mikey! I see you've prepared well for this meeting. She's sure to love it. Go ring her doorbell. I can't wait to meet that girl. I liked her so much. And there's their house. Mikey, try to be polite and don't call anyone Chica. It's uncivilized. I don't care at all. I have a feeling she's gonna like it that way. Hey, open up. The guests are here. Hello? Oh, hello. Who are you? You're the guys Mickey was talking about. Wow, you're so beautiful. And you're wearing red too. I think I'm in love too. So cute and pretty. Anyway, we forgot to meet. My name is JC and my friend Mickey. You know, I'm so bored at home. Oh my god, what a figure. I would totally date her. Uh, JJ, actually, I could hear you just now. Oh my god, please forgive me. It's just a thought out loud. Hey, Mickey, come here. Our boys are here. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey there, ladies. I brought a bouquet for my lady. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. By the way, what's your name? My name is JJ. And my name is Mikey. We're brothers. Two handsome brothers, let me tell you. Well, let's all go for a walk together. Let's go. That's what we came here for. Let's go play on the playground. Stop talking already. You know, I've never been in a relationship. I don't even even know what it's like to hold a girl's hand to kiss her. It's horrible for me. Stop whining, JJ. There's a first time for everything. I think you're right. It's worth a try. Oh my god, is that the idiot I'm gonna date? Oh, that's a shame. Six months later.
Oh my God, I've been asleep for so long. There's that fat cow lying next to me again. She's pissing me off. It's time to stretch a little after bedtime. Ouch, who's ringing my doorbell? Does Mikey need something again? Wake up, JJ. Open this door, it's an emergency. I'm coming, Mikey. Don't make so much noise. JC's still asleep. Oh my God. What else do you want? First of all, hello, JJ. Second of all, I found a super cool place to ride my bike there. Do you want to ride a bike again? Well, yeah, it's fun. Everyone needs to exercise to keep from getting fat. Let's go for a ride. Stop talking. Do you realize that I actually slept with my girlfriend and you dragged me out of the house and took me to some cool place? You could spend time with your girlfriend, too. I'm sick of spending all my free time with her. You and I so rarely go out together. Um, well, yeah, you're right. Let's go for a ride then. I'm so glad you said yes. I promise you this is the coolest place you'll ever see in your life. I'm going to do the coolest stunt ever. You're such a braggart, Mikey. Come on. Let's go show it to me. I'm not bragging. If you're an extreme sports enthusiast like me, JJ, you'll definitely love it there. Uh, okay. So where is this super duper place of yours? This is the place. Here on top of the mountain, we're gonna do all kinds of tricks. It's very easy to fall down here. That's why it's so exciting. This is a very bad idea. I don't even want to get on bike here. And I don't advise you to be here either. Wow, it's really high up here. Imagine how long it'll take you to fall down. That's really cool. There's nothing cool about it. Mikey, it's very dangerous. Please, let's get out of here. Oh, you're such a chicken, JJ. I'm not the chicken, you're the idiot. In this life, you must always be brave. It's the only way to be a real man. Mikey, you don't understand. This bravery won't get you anywhere. You're risking your life for nothing. Oh, you're such a whiny little baby, JJ. If you don't want to ride, just look at me. I've been riding a lot better since then. Okay, you're awesome. Now let's go home. Calm down. I have the situation under control control. Look how I can jump on one wheel. I've seen it before. Hey, stop. Don't go backwards. You're going to fall. Stop joking around. Stop, Mikey. Uh... Oh my God. No, Mikey, are you alive in there? I don't think he'd survive a fall from that height. I'm coming to you now. Friends, don't do such dangerous stunts on a bicycle, okay? I gotta go save Mikey. What an idiot he is. I have to help him out again. I hope it wasn't painful. Ha ha ha. Mikey, get up. Stop scaring me. Uh, Mikey, are you okay? Okay, I think he collapsed and he's not regaining consciousness. Oh my God, this is not good at all. It's time to call an ambulance on the phone. I hope they come quickly and help him. I don't want Mikey dying in front of me. Hello, ambulance. My friend fell down the mountain. Very good, where are you now? We're at the highest mountain in the county. Okay, we're on our way, wait for us. Okay, God, Mikey, hold on. The ambulance is on its way. Friends, if you want Mikey to survive, like this video. Uh-oh, what is that? That's the ambulance ambulance coming. That was fast. At this rate, Mikey will be fixed in no time. Hurry up and help Mikey. His leg must be broken. Hello, what's wrong? My friend fell down the mountain on his bike. Help him. Keep your voice down, young man. I'm the doctor here, not you. So what? Hurry up and give him shots, bandages. I don't know. Did he really fall from that height? Yeah, it was crushed to smithereens. He's not even recovering from the fall. He's very sick. Okay, then he needs to get to the hospital right away. We'll try to help him there. But let me tell you right away, there's very little chance of survival. What? Mikey could die? But my viewers will probably put a lot of likes on the video and he will survive. I have no idea what you're talking about. Come to the hospital for more information. We will do our best to save this cyclist's life. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you for your help. I have high hopes for you, doctor. I'm never riding a bike again. It's too traumatic. Friends, aren't you afraid to ride a bike? Write it in the comments. The doctor said to come to this particular hospital. I'm so worried about Mikey. They must be in this office. I'll wait for them here. Friends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. This way, Mikey will definitely survive. At least I'm willing to do anything to help my brother. Where's my boyfriend? What happened to him? Oh, it's Mickey. Whoa, JJ, you're here too. What happened to Mikey? He wanted to show me his cool bike tricks on the mountain, but unfortunately, he fell off it. What? You two idiots? Why didn't you stop him? Mikey's totally crazy. Hey. Hey, I tried to stop him, but you know how hard that is to do. What if he really dies? It'll be all your fault. Oh my God, I can't even imagine that happening. The doctor's coming and we'll find out from him. Hello, you must be Mikey's friends. Well, I have some not so good news for you. <laughs> What's so funny? Is Mikey alive? Uh, a little bit. A little bit? Show us Mikey right now. Okay, you're not gonna like this at all. Let's go to the room. I don't know how to tell you this. No more silence. Tell us straight. He's obviously hiding something from us. There's Mikey. He's got all his bones broken. 
Duncan. Oh my god, but he's gonna make it, right? Unfortunately, he's dead. I'm so sorry. What? This can't be happening! That was my favorite boyfriend. And that's my brother. Oh my god, I can't live without him. I loved him so much. He died a long time ago. Why didn't you save him? You're a doctor! Some awful doctor. I can't live without him. I'm alone now, without a boyfriend. Hey, stop! You're the worst doctor ever! Mickey, Mikey was the best friend to all of us. Don't feel bad. Please, don't cry. I'll always be by your side. <laughs> you don't understand anything. Mikey was my whole life, and now he's gone. We've been a family for a long time. Please don't walk away from me. Ooh, it's starting to stink already. What am I supposed to do with his body? I wish I could have saved him. What an idiot he is to start riding right on the mountain. All his relatives are on the mountain now because of his stupidity. I'm gonna go get some lunch. Wow, we had a nice ride with you after all. I'll have to learn more bike tricks. Yeah, JJ, where are you hiding? Where am I? It smells like alcohol and some kind of medicine. This place looks like a hospital. Uh, what? Is that my body? Am I dead? Oh, that's not cool at all. I shouldn't have done those super cool stunts on the mountain. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do right now. I've become a ghost. I can walk through walls, scare people who pass by, but I don't need any of that. I'd like to see my Mickey. Hey, stop. Wait for me. Don't run away. Stop taking offense. You have no idea how much I loved Mikey. We had fun together. We ate. We played. We slept. And now he's gone. Who do I live with now? I can help you with all of that. You should get some sleep. You'll feel better the next day. How can you help me with this? Mikey's the only one who can calm me down. I can calm you down. Come on. I'll help you sleep. Oh, uh, well, come on. I don't know what that's gonna do. You're gonna love it for sure. Ha 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 ha. You just need to relax. Mikey's He's not gonna see me now anyway. I'm not so sure about that anyway. You're so beautiful, you know. A good girl like you shouldn't go without a boyfriend. You're right. I am so pretty and without a boyfriend. Maybe you can replace Mikey. Of course I can replace him. You get down. Now you're going to enjoy it. JJ, please be gentle with me, okay? Ha ha ha. I'll be the most gentle man in the world. Wow. You're so much better than Mikey, you know. I'm better than him at everything. Here I am. I'm still alive and I can see you. Oh, what are you guys even doing here? Yeah, you're the the best. Wow. Ah ha ha ha. Wow. I feel so good. Good thing Mikey can't see us. Oh, what a freak that JJ is. I just died an hour ago. Oh my god. Meanwhile, You all have no idea what news I have today. I'm having a baby brother or sister. But honestly, I'd like a little brother for myself. We were told it was 100% going to be a boy. Nice. I was so happy when I heard that. Oh, darling. Your mom is due to have a baby any day now. Cool. Oh, you're embarrassing me. Let's take care of her before it's labor time. Mom, is it hard for you to walk? Yeah, just a little bit, honey. Honey, I'll carry you. Don't worry. Are you sure you won't have a hard What's time? What's the trouble, dear? Oh. You're still as light as a feather as ever. <laughs> wow, Daddy, you're so strong. Yeah. I want to help my mom, too. Of course we're gonna need your help too, JJ. Yay, where do we start? First, I just need to get your mom into the bedroom and let her rest. Uh, okay. But darling, I must make dinner for you both. In your condition, rest is important. Yes, mom, rest. Well done, JJ. Daddy, here you are helping mommy move around the house. Yes, I have no choice but to help your beautiful mom right now. What can I do to help? Well... My dears, I'd like a snack. I'm a little hungry. Oh my god. No problem, my love. <clears throat> JJ, let's go out in the hallway for a minute. Okay, dad. Honey, have some relaxation and don't worry about a thing. Uh... Well, JJ, as you may have noticed, we don't have anything to eat at home. Yes, Dad, I noticed. What are we gonna do? So go to the store and get your mom some fruit, okay? Sure, I'll go to the store, no problem. That's great. We seem to have one carrot and a loaf left in the fridge, but I don't think your mom would want that. Hmm, I understand her. So hurry up. Okay, Dad. And don't buy your mom peaches, you understand? Yeah, one foot here, one foot there. Before they know it, I'll be coming home with a bag of delicious fruit. I can't wait for the baby to be born. I wonder if what the mom eats makes the baby feel bad or good. Two hours later... There was a terrible line of grandmothers at the store. They take so long to pick lottery tickets. God! Oh, I hope I'm not too late. I bought so much stuff. I hope my mom likes it. Honey, I'm very comfortable. Hey, everybody, I'm back. I'm glad to hear that. Dad, Mom. Oh, JJ. I bought fruit. Oh, you're my good son. Only for you, Mommy. There aren't any peaches here, are there? Nope. I was just dreaming of fruit. Thank you, my sunshine. I hope the little one enjoys it. So, JJ, we're here to decide what we're going to name your little brother. Oh! Those are the options. Uh... Honey. What do you think of the name Bob? Sounds interesting. No, huh? I don't want that name. And what do you think, JJ? No, I'm picturing SpongeBob, not my brother. Okay, well, since no one likes that name, I'm crossing it off. Uh, okay. So, what do you think of the name, John? 
Sounds noble. No, we have an ordinary boy, not a king. I don't like it either. JJ and John, they don't sound compatible at all. We're going to get confused. Okay, okay, I love that name. Oh, sorry, Dad. It's okay, JJ. And that leaves us with the last name, Mikey. Oh! That's the name I like the best. So it's settled. Our son will be named Mikey. Oh, my God. You like it, JJ? I'm extremely pleased. I love the name, too. Your mom picked out that name. Yes, your father chose a name for you. Really? But this time, I'm choosing the name for my second son. Nevertheless, the time is getting late. It's bedtime for the kids. Wow. Wow, I didn't realize it was getting dark. Thanks for your help, son. Yes, thank you. I'm always happy to help you both. Oh, what a wonderful son we have. Oh, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm going to bed now. JJ, Mommy and Daddy love you so much. Sleep sweetly, JJ. And it's time for us to go to bed. Good night. Oh, this has been an extremely stressful day for me. Hopefully in a few days I won't be living alone in this room. It'll be so nice to fall asleep in the two of us. I'm excited. Good night to me. <coughs> oh, good morning. I had such a wonderful dream that my brother was born. Huh, but it's just a dream. I wonder what's for breakfast. Uh, what's going on? JJ, JJ. What's up? Your mom, baby. Huh, what? Let's go downstairs. Dad, calm down. Mm. Let's go downstairs, all right? Uh, yeah, sure, let's hurry up. What could have happened that you said our mom a baby? Oh no, JJ, I meant the baby is coming soon. Oh! My dearly beloved, this time has come. Oh, mommy. Do something. And I'm in a total panic. Dad, call an ambulance. That's right, JJ, they'll help her. Yeah, let's hurry up. Hurry up, hurry up. Please have them respond right away. Uh... Hello, you've reached the ambulance. Hello? Do you need help? Yes, my wife is in in labor. Come as soon as possible. Oh, our car is on its way. Oh, and they work promptly. Awesome. Yes, the ambulance should be here soon. We need to be on the lookout so we don't miss it. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is the only way we can help your mom right oh, now. Oh, Dad, that must be the ambulance. Yeah, let's go outside and take a look. Let's go. Wow, JJ, you were right. The ambulance is here. They came so fast. Great job. Hi, were you the one who called the ambulance? Yes, it was us. All right, well, where's the patient? Mommy's lying in the bedroom. You're gonna help my mom, right? Yes, of course. I'll try. Let's go. Yeah. I need to see your condition right away first. Hmm. Ugh. Oh, my love, are you okay? Not so much. Hello. Hello, how are you feeling? <clears throat> I'm having an incredibly hard time right now. I got it. Family, I'm sorry, but I have to get your mom to the hospital right now. Oh, but why? If we don't, she could be very badly hurt. Oh, my God. I don't want my mom to get too sick. Can we go with her? No, and no, absolutely not. My darlings, I'll be all right. Your mom needs to rest. I'm really worried. I want to go with her. I'm going too. Ouch. This could hurt your mom. Stop. So calm down and come to the hospital. But why? Listen, both of you, worrying and yelling is not going to make your mom feel better. Oh. Oh, no. I'll see you at the hospital. Uh, okay. I'm so scared for her. Dad, let's trust the doctors. But JJ... They know best how to help our mom. Yeah, you're probably right. Oh, but we haven't found out which hospital she'll be in. Oh, I totally forgot to ask about that. We should hurry and get the car. Oh my god, he's going so fast. Don't worry, we can still see him. Keep up, JJ. Phew, we ran non-stop for almost an hour. It was awful. The doctors had just recently taken my mom into that room, but nothing else was happening. Childbirth is a long procedure. I'm getting a little worried. JJ, I'm worried too, but there's nothing we can do but wait. Is mom going to be okay? Yeah, they're professionals here, so I think we'll be fine. Oh! Is the labor really over? Yes, the labor went well for the baby. Oh my God! But unfortunately, not successful for the mother. Wait, what? I'm sorry, but this baby is the only thing I can give you right now. Wait. Come on, baby. Get on your feet. This is your family. It's good to see you all. My love. I can't guarantee anything. We're fighting for her life. But you should probably prepare for the worst I have to see her right away You can't do that If you don't understand with words Wait I'll go in by force <gasps> My love, I'm coming Oh my god We're in the middle of a major operation And no outsiders are allowed in You can't come in, okay? Okay Help her, Charlie, we need you Let's hurry Well, it's over Daddy, what's wrong with mommy? We probably won't see our mom again Stop, what? But I didn't see her anyway Ah, uh, that's right, Mikey <clears throat> You didn't see the mom who gave you that beautiful name Oh So my name is Mikey? Yeah, that's the name our mom came up with for it you It saddens me that I won't even be able to see her I'm still hoping for for the best. Still, our mother couldn't survive childbirth, Mikey. JJ, I can't believe it. I was just born and already such misfortunes. Hmm. And also, just look at the condition of our father. Uh, it was the hardest thing for dad to hear the news about. This is just terrible. I have no idea how to cheer him up. He's been sitting like this for days. Oh. Oh, mommy, if only you were nearby. Dad wouldn't watch such sad cartoons. JJ, this can't go on. Uh. I'm very sad and I'm very hungry. Do we have anything to eat at home? Dad seemed to say that there was something edible in the refrigerator. Well. But I'm not sure. I need to check it out. Oh, hmm. So what is here? Wow, there's a whole loaf of bread and one carrot. What's up? I'll share my bread with you, Mikey. So what about you? I'm already an adult, Mikey, and you're still a baby. You need to eat a lot. Thank you, JJ. Bon appetit. <gasps> and you only ate one carrot, Nightmare. It's okay. Okay, JJ, what do we do? Well, I have a suggestion to go outside and freshen up. Wow. What do you think about it? Oh, hmm. I 
think this is a good idea. Cool. It's too stuffy at home right now. Let's go for a walk. Let's leave Dad with his thoughts. Yes, let's go quickly. Yeah, I think going for a walk now is the best thing we can do. Yay. Oh, and the weather is so nice now. Yes, but just recently it was raining heavily. But the weather has now improved. And this means that we can have a great time on the playground. I've been dreaming of playing here for a long time, JJ. Then let's go. Three hours later. I've already played enough, but Mikey has more than enough energy. When are you going to come down to Earth? Ha, ah, but I'm already on the Earth, JJ. Ha, huh, what? But to be serious, I'm not tired. Mikey, look at the sky. The sun has already gone to bed, and it's time for us to return home. Oh, hmm. I'm not kidding. Come down. Well, the sky really is already dark. Yeah. Okay, today I had enough time to play. Oh, let's go home quickly. I'm tired. I hope we will repeat this walk tomorrow. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yay, finally. Our dad has most likely already lost us. Oh, I can't even imagine what we should do with him in his condition. Let's try to cheer him up tomorrow. Uh, for example, let's all go for a walk together. Yes, we will do that. Hmm, where's Dad? Maybe he went upstairs. Hmm, I don't even know. Let's take a look around here. He's not in the bedroom. Yes, JJ, but there's something on the floor. Look. Uh, what is that? Mikey, it's a book. But why is there a book here and our dad is not there? I don't know. And how can we use it? I can read this. Well, what are you waiting for then? Read on. Let's see what's written here. My sons, sorry, but I can't live without your mom. Oh my God. I'm leaving for her, your beloved daddy. Why daddy? Well, Mikey, something terrible happened to our dad we have to find him wait why he wrote here that he could not live apart from our mother oh no he was supposed to stay somewhere at home i didn't see him go outside oh hmm jj i bring bad luck wait what as soon as i appeared with you everything became so bad forgive me i'm really sorry mikey it's not your fault i'm not so sure about that but mikey oh okay where could he be mikey i'm sure he wouldn't come into our room hmm. let's go check it in the garage jj i find it hard to believe that dad would do anything <clears throat> oh this can't be oh my god daddy why mikey daddy please Please wake up. Daddy, don't leave us. We can't live without you. Get up. JJ, it's no use. No, I don't believe the dad is no more. JJ, our dad is reunited with our mom forever. Uh, it's sad, but we should be happy for them. I have no idea what we should do now. First, let's bury him. It's terrible. First, we didn't have a mom, and now we don't have a dad. Oh, JJ, we're all about ourselves now. I can't find a place for myself. I hear dad's voice and his steps everywhere. Oh! <laughs> uh, what? What was it now? What's up, JJ? I'm not sure, but I heard something. Hmm, I didn't hear anything. Oh, my God. <gasps> Mikey, let's run home. Why are you talking so calmly? You're wrong. I'm panicking so much. Okay, let's go. Mikey, don't we really think that's all? JJ, this can't be a joint hallucination. It's rare. I really hope you're right. Phew, JJ, but what was that? I don't know. <gasps> What if it was some kind of monster? Uh, well, that sounds logical. Hmm. Oh, JJ, be quiet. Huh, what? Oh, my God. You also didn't hear someone walking upstairs. Yeah. I really don't like this, JJ. I agree. I'm scared. Mikey, don't be afraid. I'm still next to you. What is that? Wait, what? Mom and Dad? Sorry for scaring you guys. We didn't mean to scare you. You are ghosts. Yes, but we are still us. Yes, it is. Uh. Our parents are with us again. Yes, exactly. You are with us again. Yay. Now you won't leave? For now, we are staying here with you both. Yes, we will leave only when the time comes. Oh. Yes, but you don't have to worry about it now. Hmm. By the way, my kids, are you hungry? Oh, yes, I'm very hungry. And I'm hungry, too. Mom will cook a meal. JJ, let's go to the table. Uh, okay. Mikey, this is all so amazing. Yes, we couldn't believe it ourselves when we saw ourselves like that. Since we had such a chance, we would spend this time with our children. Mom, thanks to this, I can see how beautiful you were. <laughs> yes, that's a fact. Yeah. Thank you, my loves, and bon appetit. Oh! Wow, thanks, Mom. The food looks amazing. I agree. I can't wait to taste everything. Me too. Thanks, Mom, for the food. <laughs> and in general, thank you for not forgetting about us. I couldn't forget about my beloved sons. We couldn't leave you. You are next to us now, and this this is the most important thing. Yes, we're glad you're here. Oh, kids. We are happy too. The next day. We play as a family on our playground. I've been dreaming about this ever since mom got pregnant with Mikey. <laughs> JJ, I dreamed about this, too. Ha, ah, Daddy, pump me harder. Mikey, I'm doing everything I can. <laughs> JJ, this is so cool. Cool, Mikey. Will you let me swing on the swing, too? Yes, sure. Mommy, I'm so happy. Oh, that was my best sale. <laughs> uh, what? Mikey, it's my turn now. No, my dad pushes me on the swing. Mom, Wait. Mikey won't share with me. Dad, I've played enough. Oh, but my grandmother told me that wild mushroom soup was a bad idea. Why didn't I listen to her? I'm just going crazy. <laughs> Terrible. Nightmare. One week later... JJ, this week has been the best week of my life. Yeah. And this is all thanks to you, my parents. You're welcome. Thanks to both of you. JJ, I wish this would never end. Yes, we would like the same too. Cool. But unfortunately, it's time for us to say goodbye to each other. Wait, why? Ghosts cannot stay in the world of the living for long. They have been waiting for us in another world for a long time. Mikey, apparently it's time to say goodbye to them. Hmm. We are really sad to leave, but we have no choice. Yes, we love you. Goodbye. Bye. Mommy, Daddy, wait. <laughs>
Come back, please. JJ, they said they would leave us. I remember that. I didn't think it would come so soon. Yeah. I'm incredibly happy that I was able to meet them, but I'm also incredibly upset. Now this one will be so empty. Yes, but JJ, we mustn't lose heart. Yes, let's fill this house stories and fun. Let's go. 10 a.m. You're still sleeping. I've been up since 6 a.m. Early bird gets the word what it is. They get curved what it is Okay, okay I don't frown a lot No, no, no Lately blessings coming down a lot They coming down I see my fam, I can't be down and out